Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm ObscurianJoPT and for today what I have here is Watch Dogs 2 running on my desktop, my HD 7850 and my Fan 2. So the game was developed by Ubisoft Montreal and still uses the Disrupt engine. Uh, the game now features a lot of more stuff and I'm going to use my custom presets but anyway I decided to try the game in low settings, median settings. Um, the low settings and the medium settings I did use the temporal filtering which reconstructs the previous frames to be a little bit less demanding. Okay, I'm going to use 2 DI settings but I had to lower the texture resolution to medium because of the VRAM. Okay. And of course I'm using uh, temporal filtering too for that and I did use my custom presets which I reduced the geometry because of the CPU to help a little bit the CPU. I reduced the vegetation to low which the, it's one of the best level of detail stuff. I, I reduced the texture because of the VRAM and I reduced the reflections to low. This affects the reflections on cars. It now on low only reflects the sky and not the environment. And uh, the buildings, the reflections are non-existent in the low, okay? But the reflections on the water are still there, okay? So I recorded this uh, with AMD Radiant Relief and because of that the video looks a little bit m less smooth than it was supposed to because uh, when I was getting the stuttering um, the video output file got to uh, 23 FPS and because of that the video is less smooth and yes you are starting to notice some stuttering this stuttering really happens during the gameplay not as much as while recording over here but it do happen and this is the main problem with the game the game stutters a lot it's um, it's happening if you have a weak cpu like we have in here and as you as you noticed on the ms afterburner the cpu is at 100 percent and because of that it stutters a lot and there is nothing we can do uh, even if I put the game on low settings, the game stutters from time to time. Sometimes the hard disk drive um, can't really handle the streaming. So many people were claiming that this game is much better optimized than the first. I must say that it's true because for now we have now much more objects and much more stuff on the environment. But still our fan 2 can't handle the game while riding a car at very fast speed on downtown. If you go to outside the city, the performance is much better and the bottleneck uh, disappears, which means the GPU goes to 100%. But while on the city, if you have police uh, behind you, uh, if you are causing some mayhem or if you are driving very fast, uh, and this is mostly on downtown, uh, what really happens is our CPU can't really handle the game and drops to 20 frames and stutters and stuff like that. So because of that, um, I must say that the HD 7850 can handle the game at high settings if you use the texture resolution uh, to median. But a fan 2 can't really handle the game too well. So if you have the HD 7850 and you have another CPU, a much better CPU like an i5 or a, a recent E3 like the E3 6100. I'm pretty sure that the HD 7850 will be fine with the game mostly at 30 40 FPS with almost non stuttering. But for the Fan 2 CPU or maybe for other very old CPUs, what it's going to happen is exactly what you are seeing. I'm getting a very big bottleneck and uh, the, the GPU usage is very low in the middle of the city and there's nothing you can do about it. I have my CPU overclocked and still it doesn't really um, put my GPU to work as it was supposed to. So with that I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of the video. I will run away a little bit from the cops and I will do a very simple mission outside the city for you to see the frame rate. Okay? So if you want to check the results without recording, just check on the description of the video or press the red rectangle saying frame rates. Okay? Hope you enjoy the rest of the video and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.
He said he loved me. And he loved Annie and Zara and Jeff too. Fucking fuck. Cheese. <laughs> Okay. I've got a new Bobo track the world has never heard before. How's the soundboard coming? Yo, a Bobo Dakes, bitch. <laughs> oh, perfect. So, how do we contact Karkani? I'm gonna visit his mansion. I need to see his face when we do this. Who wants to have some fun? Yo, I'm listening. We've got a lost monkey near you with all this confidential data that needs liberating. Your profiler will help you ID said primate, but they won't stick around long. I'll check it out. So how goes the monkey business? They won't stick around, you know. Yes, thank you. I got this. Suspect's description will follow. Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the performance section of the video. So I tried to replicate what I did on the video in the different settings without recording. And so with the settings that I did use to record, I got an average of 37, a minimum of 23. Uh, there were some spikes in there, but the eye settings was seriously spiking and stuttering all over the, the place. The median settings is what I found maybe the most stable setting to use. So despite that it recorded with an hybrid between median and eye, I think I should recommend you to play at median settings, at least because of downtown, but the median settings have some stuff that I personally don't like, for example no ambient occlusion, um, no anisotropic filtering, and uh, above all no reflections on water, but you can add it uh, to if you want to. So this was on the mission, the second sequence of the video. And as you can see, uh, my personal settings that I did use on the video, I got an average of 47 and a minimum of 28. As for the median settings, never dropped from 32. But despite that, it doesn't mean that it didn't stutter. It, did, uh, it stutters uh, a little bit on the beginning on downtown, but it was, um, let's say, less bad. It was less worse than the my custom preset or the eye settings. So this is the percentage of frames lower than 30 FPS, so the median and low settings got uh, a very good percentage, but still all the settings did drop a little bit from 30 FPS, that was because of the censoring. The custom median eye settings or the median settings or the eye settings always did use the 2GB of VRAM, the RAM usage was between 5.5 gigabytes to 6 gigabytes of RAM, so I full recommend you to have at least 6 gigabytes, I mean at least 8 gigabytes of RAM to play this game. CPU usage, like I did told you, it was a problem in this game, so I full recommend you to have a beast of CPU to play this game, okay? And GPU usage was bottlenecked between the, 50, uh, the 65 and 99%. 
So that's pretty much it. Watch Dogs 2 is a very CPU bound title. I do hope that Ubisoft continues to try to optimize the game. I believe they can do it. Because uh, any improvement they do for the CPU or uh, any sort of thing in the game, I'm pretty sure that it's going to feel massively a big, big improvement in our system over here. So I will be um, alert uh, from what is happening to the patches and if something new releases I will try to develop uh, a new video about Watch Dogs, okay? So with that, that's all. Hope you did enjoy the video and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.